Hello, in this video we're going to put money in the utility function. So we have a con consumer's utility function. Utility equals 10 times the natural log of x plus 20 times the natural log of y plus m, where m is our uh, special case here of putting utility in or putting money in the utility function. So x, as usual, is units of good x, y is units of good y, and m represents dollars. Let's assume the, the consumer has $50 to spend. The price of good x is $5 per unit. The price of good y is $4 per unit. We'll start by calculating a number of marginal utilities. The marginal utility of good x is the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good x using the rules of taking a derivative of a natural log. Uh, what's in parentheses, we're just going to pull that down. So the derivative of the natural log of x is just 1 divided by x. And then that's going to be all multiplied by 10. So that's how we get 10 divided by x. The marginal utility of good y, uh, in a similar manner here, we're going to take the partial derivative of the natural log of y, which is just 1 over y. We're going to multiply that by 20. And then the relatively easy one here, the marginal utility of money, partial derivative of m, is just 1. The next thing we're going to do is calculate uh, what you might call bang for the buck, marginal utility per dollar. And we'll start here with the marginal utility per dollar of money. We take the marginal utility of money and we divide it by the price of a dollar. So 1 divided by 1 is 1. Okay, again, where the marginal utility of money is what we already solved here. We found it to equal 1, and then we divide it by the price of a dollar, which is just $1. We get 1. The marginal utility per dollar of good x is going to be 10 divided by x, and that's all going to be divided by 5. And that will simplify to the following, just 2 divided by x. And then lastly here, the marginal utility per dollar of good y, the bang for the buck for consuming good y is the marginal utility of y, which we got over here. Dividing it by the price of good y will simplify down to 5 divided by y. And now for the solution, uh, the main thing for the solution, uh, and this is a similar condition here, uh, as we've seen in other consumer optimization problems. Uh, the consumer will allocate his or her budget such that the marginal utility per dollar is equal across all goods. The only thing we have different here is that we have the marginal, marginal utility per dollar of money. So let's start here. Let's set the marginal utility per dollar of good x equal the marginal utility per dollar of money. So here's the marginal utility of good x that we saw on the last screen, 2 divided by x. We set that equal to the marginal utility per dollar of money, which is 1. Solving for x, x equals 2. So the consumer will buy 2 units of good x. Moving on, setting the marginal utility per dollar of good y equal to the marginal utility per dollar of money. Uh, 5 divided by y is the marginal utility per dollar of good y. Setting that equal to 1, solving for y, y equals 5. And to note here, the consumer spends $10 on good x. Consumer bought two units at $5 a piece to get us our $10. And the consumer spent $20 on good Y. The consumer buys five units of good Y at a price of $4 each. And this means that the consumer did not spend all or all his or her money. Uh, the consumer only spent $30 out of the uh, $50 of her budget. All right. I hope you found this video interesting.